guys, Grinchalab Zero Gaming back, and in today's video, we're going to be going over is Halo still played, and how will they get people to play Halo 6 when it comes out? So you know, is the uh, population of play of Halo players still up there, or is it declining, or is there just nobody on the servers anymore, and they all moved on to other games? Now there are only those people that are going to uh, hang back, but we're going to see how long it takes to get a game and I do have my timer set so it was 27 seconds so we'll see what happens when we finally get enough people and see how long it took this may range on where you are in the world or <coughs> what country you're in uh, or even if you got Wi-Fi has at all you wouldn't be watching this video and let's see it took us about took it about actually 28 seconds so that's not bad to wait for it to find people. Sometimes it can be a lot, especially if it's a big game. But luckily, this is a pretty popular game now. So it's kind of making its comeback. In Halo PvP, it's always been very fun. So that's one thing that 343 Industries did. And they really made uh, their games a lot more funner than they, you know, already were. So I'm pretty, uh, yeah, I'm pretty happy about that. So... <coughs> I know here's the uh, out here's like the uh, war outcome. So pretty much, how are they going to you know sustain players and where are all the players? So some players actually still like PvP. I can't imagine a lot of people still play the campaign. You might go over it once or twice, but there's some people who just love to go over it many times. Now some people have actually moved on, well you know to other games and other and some people have just stayed on this, or some people like to play this often. Uh, me, I actually play this uh, not too often, but if I do, I'll play it for like about like a week, and then I'll go to something else. Uh, it definitely is like a fun game. It will, will like hook you in. It's such a fun and interactive game with players. If you choose to do that, right? Because always, if you played with other players, you were either attacking them, or they were pretty much like in a, like a loading server, you know. Uh, now it's different. Now you can actually work together with these other people to go, you know, fight <laughs> aliens in these war zone firefights. You can also have vehicles that you earn, which I think is actually pretty cool that you have to earn your vehicles. And once you have those vehicles, you can take them and get, you know, uh, wreck points if you guys are not familiar with Halo 5, and then buy new vehicles and pretty much just have fun with your friends or whoever you're really playing with, I guess. It's pretty fun and it's pretty you know, action packed, especially the, with flying and driving things. They really did a good job on their graphics. That's one thing I'll do. That's one thing I'll say is they just keep getting better and better, and while still keeping a little bit of a cartoonish, you know, feel to it. So I mean, that is actually pretty nice <coughs> that they do that. And that's going to keep a lot of people engaged in here, and they, you know, they want to have like you know rewards. So that will definitely keep people. So, I think the Halo population is still, you know, people still turn out the events. So, the Halo pop so people will buy the Halo game when it comes out, and it's probably going to be a huge sale. Now, uh, how was uh, 343 going to get people to buy Halo, you know, 6? I'll probably make a much more bigger video about this in the future. But for now, what they're going to try and do is they're going to try it. <coughs> To probably have Warzone in here again, even though they can't really make it any better. I mean, because they already have Warzone on this game. Like, they made the perfect, like, Warzone cross between, like, players. If I do, I know that's not original. It is super not original, but it's still fun, and I'm glad that they did it personally. I'm also super glad that they were able to make so many new vehicles. So, that's probably what's going to draw a lot of people in, is they're going to see, like, all the action. And that's how they're going to get people really to play Halo 6, I think, is the new weapons. Uh, they want to hear the story, even though you could probably YouTube it first. People want to see it for themselves, they want to play the campaign. They definitely want to use these new vehicles, because they are really fun. Especially if you're not fighting against like some epic gamer, you know, in the PvP map. And then you just like got your new plane, and all of a sudden somebody just shoots it down, or snipes you out being the epic gamer there. It's really nice, AIs are not epic gamers, so... I found that to be really nice, and I, and I think people will find this uh, this chapter to close with Halo 5 and open up a new one. And I'm excited to see when that game comes out and what new attributes it has. Anyway guys, I'm Grunge Zero Gaming, and hopefully you check out my other Halo content, and hopefully I'll see you guys in the next video. 
hit that bell if you want to see the new Halo content that comes out as well. Bye guys. Welcome to North Hill, a new townhome development located in the north end of Boise, Idaho. Offering two or three bedroom floor plans with refined finishes and natural stone throughout. Come check us out and visit us at NorthHillBoise.com.